Hi everybody, it is February 1, 2018. Had, did you catch Trump's comments on major events? Trump hopes a traumatic major event isn't needed to unite America. Did you catch this a couple of days ago? I'm in the car, I'm listening to this radio talk show and they are talking about Trump's tweets I want to see our country united. I want to bring our country back from tremendous divisiveness. And then he said, I would love to be able to bring back our country into a great form of unity without a major event where people pull together. That's hard to do. But I would like to do it without that major event because usually that major event is not a good thing. Hmm. Well, I couldn't help but be reminded of others who talked about a major event, you know, like, uh, ah, this guy, David Rockefeller. We are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. So Trump comes right out, and he says, hey, I want to pull you all together, but I don't want to do it, you know, by causing a major event, because the events that occur in the world are not just accidental, spontaneous, grassroots events. They are. They are planned. They are intentional. They are deliberate. Um, you know, you get someone who comes right out and says a major event is necessary. And then you put somebody in and they talk about a major event and they say, well, that's not a good thing. We, we need to pull together without a major event. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, the, the two sides of the same coin. And I'm wondering if Trump is putting truth out there for us. Considering what we are living today, those of us who actually know what's going on in the world, when you read these quotes, it's really astonishing the success of these incredibly evil, crazy, satanic, just uh, well, I, there, there are no words to describe a human being with the mentality, I'm in power, I've got the wealth, I'm going to redesign the world for my own purposes. Like uh, Paul Warburg. We will have a world government, whether you like it or not. The only question is whether that government will be achieved by conquest or consent. <laughs> They're getting consent from Americans. They're getting consent from citizens in Western nations. They're having to achieve it by conquest. All other nations. Isn't that interesting? We... Westerners think that we're superior to everybody else. <laughs> and we're just, hey, go, take my rights, take my freedom. I'll be your slave. Brock Chislam, director of the United Nations World Health Organization, to achieve world government, it is necessary to remove from the minds of men their individualism, loyalty to family traditions, national patriotism, and religious dogmas. God, they've been successful, haven't they? We now have generations, younger generations, filled with people who want to give up their individualism for collectivism. They actually talk about how socialism is is better than what we had when we were growing up. The opportunities. 
the, the, the freedom, individualism, which has, has, I think, thoroughly been wiped out of the individual in our country. Malcolm X, a new world order is in the making and it is up to us to prepare ourselves that we may take our rightful place in it. <laughs> I guess we didn't prepare ourselves, huh? No. And even uh, Nelson Mandela, who, l listen to this quote, the new world order that is in the making must focus on the creation of a world of democracy, peace, and prosperity for all. Yes. Well, the 19... 69 lecture by Dr. Day, the insider who revealed at a meeting the intentions of these evil globalists who were implementing radical change here in our country. They talked about how one of the ideas was to drop one or two nuclear bombs on a country and that in itself would bring all of those who were reluctant to changing the world into a one world government, those reluctant, once they see those nuclear bombs dropped, they would give up their reluctance and turn and say, okay, we definitely need peace and prosperity for all. And they will turn over their sovereignty to a body like the United Nations. That's where we're heading. And I think that's why Trump was put in place. This guy is going to bring about a major event. And it may very well be dropping a nuclear bomb on North Korea. This posted today. It sure sounds like the U.S. is actually going to bomb North Korea. Donald Trump pledged the United States would con continue its campaign of maximum pressure against North Korea. So one man who was set to become the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, South Korea had signed off on him. Um, he passed all U.S. security checks. Victor Cha, a professor at Georgetown University and senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Well, Trump said, nah, forget about Cha. We're not even going to consider him. Well, there are people who believe that Trump decided against Cha. Why? Because Cha disagreed with Trump's policy to bomb North Korea. This is what Cha said. If we believe that Kim is undeterrable without such a strike, how can we also believe that a strike will deter him from responding in kind? And if Kim is unpredictable, impulsive, and bordering on irrational, how can we con control the escalation ladder, which is premised on an adversary's rational understanding of signals and deterrence. Okay, so the propaganda is Kim is, he's just a crazy, irrational, impulsive, unpredictable leader. So let's drop a nuclear bomb on his country. And that's suddenly going to bring him into control? That's suddenly going to, to, to um, inject some rationality into this guy's brain? Now, North Korea is the scapegoat that we have brought out time and time again. And if, if you think that your leaders are not irrational, impulsive, unpredictable, Trump, Trump, 
four days in office, and he's bombing Syria. Oh, due to that chemical attack that, well, Trump said it was Assad. Ah, forget about any investigation. We don't have to investigate. We just have to make up lies and then drop a bomb and, and blame other, other leaders, other armies, other countries. That's what we do. We make up lies. Everything's a lie. It's so obvious. It has been obvious for decades, but it's gotten more and more obvious that everything we say is a lie. But the hypocrisy, calling anybody else impulsive, and Trump, Mr. Impulsive. Yeah, let's just drop bombs on Syria. This is also what Cha said. To be clear, the president would be putting at risk an American population the size of a medium city, medium sized city, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, on the assumption that a crazy and undeterrable, undeterrable dictator will be rationally cowed by a demonstration of U.S. kinetic power. So Cha was too rational, and he wasn't a warmonger, and he was right. So, no, we don't want him. We need the warmongers. We need the people who are impulsive and do anything that uh, we want them to do. So Trump, regardless of such warnings, has remained adamant that the King, uh, Kim regime poses a substantial threat to the United States. And that's when he was speaking, you know, during the State of the Union address. And yet a couple of days ago, I read yet another article how, no, North Korea does not have the capability of reaching us with their nuclear weapons. Um, this is what Trump said. But no regime has oppressed its own citizens more totally or brutally than the cruel dictatorship in North Korea. Do you know that we have destroyed North Korea? And we use North Korea. And North Korea was so taken over by the CIA. I, I, it's like a, it's, it's, uh, North Korea is just a, an agent of the United States. It, it's fascinating to see how easily deceived Americans are. But at this point, no. With everything that has taken place in the world, you know, since 9-11, you would think that the adults would be doing the research and not listening to the, our mainstream media propaganda that they would want to think for themselves, but no. Uh, they just listen to mainstream media and they listen to Trump and they, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. Will this be the event, the major event that finally pulls Americans together, wipes out the divisiveness so that we can all chant USA, USA, USA. Yeah, another war, drop more bombs. We are friggin' crazy here. North Korea's reckless pursuit of nuclear missiles could very soon threaten our homeland. We are waging a campaign of maximum pressure to prevent that from ever happening. You need only look at the depraved character of the North Korean regime to understand the nature of the nuclear threat it could pose to America and to our allies. Yes, the depraved character of North Korea or the North Korean regime? Um, Americans don't know that we are so grossly depraved ourselves that perhaps we should be focusing on our own depraved character? But no. Uh, what we do is, is simply, you know, humanitarian. We drop bombs, kill innocent people. We use drones. We kill innocent people. The drones, you know, Trump has killed more innocent people than Obama did in his eight years, in his one year. But, hey, he's rational. And he's not depraved. And he's not reckless. But you think about the reckless pursuit of nuclear missiles. Did you ever think, hmm, reckless? Let's see, those nuclear missiles, those nuclear bombs, the atom bomb. Who, what was the country that 
the only country that dropped nuclear bombs, the atom bomb. What country? I'll give you a guess. Uh, it's close to us, like us, U.S. Oh, right, United States. We're the only country that has used them. But that doesn't seem to enter into the picture, I guess. But is it going to be North Korea or will it be Syria? Hey, U.S. prepared to take military action against Syrian government forces. It, it, nothing has changed, okay? You can support Trump all you want, but the policies are the same, only worse. Every president that comes into the White House just escalates all wars, brings their own uh, acceleration to all of these agendas to bring in the New World Order. So yes, the Trump administration is prepared again to take military action against Syrian government forces. Why? Oh, those chemical weapons. We're concerned that Syria might be developing new methods to deliver such weapons, so we're going to bomb Syria and all of the chemical weapons, and all it's all lies, all lies. How many videos did I post on Kafka Winston World? And you, you wonder, you do every now and then wonder what is the point when you have so many Americans who have decided that facts and evidence don't really matter anymore. They don't have to take a look at facts and evidence. They're okay with their opinion. And that is it. But you would think that without having to post these videos, that an adult should that adult hear something that's new to them, like the evidence is out there that it was the CIA that gave the chemical weapons to rebel, rebels. They trained the rebels on how to use those chemical weapons. You would think that, well, <laughs> if the adult is of sound mind and rational, they would look into it themselves. They would do the research themselves. But no, they're okay with the lies coming out of their government officials, their quote-unquote leaders, their mainstream media. And what, what are the lies? The United States, we are morally superior, we are exceptional, and we drop bombs because we are so concerned about other people in their countries with their dictators and we've got to drop those bombs it's a humanitarian action yay we're great we're great we're wonderful here yeah yep yep i am sick of it but here we go yeah trump is right there with the lies Forces loyal to Syrian President al-Assad have continued occasional use of chemical weapons in small amounts. So let's just bomb the hell out of Syria. The White Helmets. That's right. A couple of, I don't know, about a week ago I saw this article. And it, yeah, the White Helmets. That, that's where we got the intel. The White Helmets. Kafka Winston World. A lot of videos about the White Helmets. No, the White Helmets. They're not just this fabulous, glorious, um, grassroots nonprofit that cares so much. You know, all of these Syrian people coming out to help those who are in need of help. No, the White Helmets was founded by British intel intelligentsia. Don't you get sick of this? Don't you get sick of this? Sorry, guys. Um, everything is right on course to bring in a major event. And that may very well be the reason why Trump was put into office. Bring in an impulsive 
warmongering bully to really get World War III started or to drop those nuclear bombs that in 1969 they were talking about to bring to bring those who do not want a new world order fighting for their freedom and sovereignty to bring them into line so that they do hand over their sovereignty to the United Nations to bring in peace and prosperity. It may be Trump that does it. But I'll just end with this, this last uh, quote here. JFK, there is a plot in this country to enslave every man, woman, and child. Before I leave this high and noble office, I intend to expose this plot. That was said seven days before his assassination. All links are below.